hi guys in this lecture you will be learning the transition so first of all what is the transition it is a CSS3 property it is just a effect uh, in transition we can see uh, the effect of changing CSS values the CSS properties values smoothly change in the transition so here I am going to apply the transition on this div here is a div it have the background color border and now I am going to apply a hover on this div when we take the mouse on this div its width is changed and then we can see the effect of changing the width and here first of all I am going to apply directly without transition here when we change the width it's 400 and we are gonna make it 500 so now when we take the mouse over it so it just happened quickly we cannot see the effect it is not attractive awesome but we are gonna make it awesome by using the transition and now here in the div we have to apply the transition on the div first of all write the transition property in this we have to write on which property we want to apply the transition here I, I want to apply the transition on the width when the width is changed we want to see the width and the second thing is uh, the time for the transition how much time you want to see the transition here I'm gonna write one second and then here we have to write transition duration and then we have to write transition timing function here is the timing function in this property we have to give the speed of the transition at the start at the end here I'm gonna write linear so now the speed of the transition is uh, just same and now let's load it and here you can see that uh, the width is increasing smoothly and we can also apply the same transition on the background but we have to write the background here and if we want to apply the transition on other elements or on all the elements then we have to write all so now the transition is apply on all the elements that is uh, on all the CSS properties that is apply on the div width height background but now here I'm going to change its background color yellow so now we can see it smoothly here you can see that its color is changing smoothly the values are changing smoothly this is the transition and its speed is linear and here I want to tell you another thing you can also here give the value is in so at the start the transition is slow here you can see that at the start the transition is slow and then it speeds increase and if we give is out so the transition speed uh, is slow when it is at the peak at the end here you can see that at the peak its speed is slow and if we give is in and is out then the transition speed is slow at the end and at the start but at the center of the transition its speed is fast and now here I'm gonna give it linear and we can also give it another property transition delay here is the transition uh, delay and we have to give uh, the delay of the transition at the start that uh, here we if we give the one second for a delay then the transition is start after the one second here I'm going to give one second delay so now when we take the mouse over the transition the transition is start after the one second delay here you can see that it is start of the one second delay so you can all also use the shorthand property you can put all these properties in the single line here write the transition then write the all 
to apply transition on all properties and here write the duration here I'm gonna write 0 0.3 seconds then timing function is linear and delay is 2 seconds but now here I'm not gonna write any delay so now here the transition is fast because the duration is small it is 0 0.3 seconds and now I'm gonna give uh, so now in my next lecture I'm gonna teach you 2d transforms what is the 2d transform so let's see in the next lecture thank you for watching this lecture I'll see you in the next lecture